Hi everyone, my name is Carly. I'm an application engineer with Design Point. And today I want to walk you through three very useful spline tools in SOLIDWORKS. So follow along with me as we use these tools to sketch the smoothest lines possible for our Design Point logo. All right, so the first tool that I want to take a look at is Simplify Spline. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just create a simple spline to outline the base of this D letter right here. And all I'm doing is dropping points down. And these are called our spline points. So once I'm at the end, I'm going to press escape to finish off the line. And now, as you can see, we have this spline made up of these points here. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually select the spline go up to Tools, head to Spline Tools, and then press Simplify Spline. So from here, this little window pops up, which shows us how many spline points are in the original curve and how many would be in the simplified curve in this case. So if I go ahead and press Smooth, you can see that SOLIDWORKS is actually decreasing the amount of spline points and increasing the tolerance between our original curve and the simplified curve. So if I wanted to make this super smooth, you can see it starts to actually deviate pretty heavily from my original curve. So I'll just go back once um, and I'll stick with this simplified curve right here. And then it just says some spline handles and all equal curve relations will be deleted. Continue. And there you go. So it simplified my spline, and now I can work with this to even refine it more. All right, so next up, I wanna show a couple of different display options we have for our spline. If you right click any spline, there's actually a, a lot of different options, but the two I wanna focus on are showing the inflection points and showing the minimum radius. So if I go ahead and show inflection points, It'll actually bring up this little icon right here, and that's the symbol that tells me where my spline's changing from concave to convex. And if I right click the same spline and show minimum radius, you can actually see where on the spline the minimum radius is located. And if I change the curvature, you can see how those two display items update. Okay, my next tip is to take advantage of the curvature combs on your spline. So before we go into showing the curvature combs, I'm going to recommend one option under Tools, Options, and Within System Options, if you go to Sketch. It's this option right here. I would always recommend showing the bounding curve for your curvature comb, because it gives you a better idea of how the slope characteristics are defined. So now to show it, you're just going to right click on your spline and then go to show curvature combs. And as you can see, even though my spline looks smooth to the naked eye, there are some inconsistencies here with the slope characteristics shown. So now I can really, really refine the spline um, by dragging the spline points and making sure it's smooth and good to go. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up my video on three useful tips for your spline tool. If you had any questions at all, please feel free to reach out.